partial, but what do you think about that DIY kit? I like it. Gives it's you everything you need, right? Yeah, everything you need. Pretty simple. I think with Detective Tuesday, it'll make the install a little easier for some of us uh, non-seasoned. Hey guys, Doug here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. This one's inspired by our six weeks prep here on Tanner's uh, 68 Chevelle. We're putting a parachute mount on this thing and uh, we are using our DIY kit, which comes with all the bends and pieces you need. Uh, this is thing something that's like not super considered half the time or a lot of the time. And uh, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. So basically once you have your mount on your car, uh, we use a slip fit inch and three quarter tube with our DIY kit. And then this inch and a half bar slides inside of it. Um, so the tip today is, you know, we send this bar because there's a different amount of space usually between the whatever bar you're connected to, the chassis, whatever. Uh, we want you to be able to adjust it. What, what you don't want to do is have this thing hanging way out. Um, basically, if you think about the car coming up and doing a wheelie, the last thing you want is this to be your wheelie bar. Number one, it's not a wheelie bar. It's not going to perform like a wheelie bar. But if you don't trim this up, if you're not careful and it sticks too far out, when you come up to do a wheelie, it will get on this clevis and then the car is just going to basically take the weight and, you know, drop to whatever side it is. It creates a dangerous situation. Either you're going to come down and, and mess something up on your car, you might dart into the other guy's lane, or you might land on the wall. Uh, I've seen it quite a few times over the years. So basically what you want to do is keep this thing as tight as possible to the back of the bumper. When we um, build our kits in-house, we always try to keep them tucked real tight up there because then if you get up that far, it, it's not an issue. But if you get too far out, especially depending on the length of the back of your car, some cars are real long in the back, some are short, um, it can definitely become an issue. So if you're doing a parachute mount, keep this thing as tight as possible. Um, there's no advantage to having it further out and there's no uh, downfall to having it closer. Uh, actually, it's a huge plus. Hopefully, if you're building a parachute mount at home, using one of our DIY kits or somebody else's, uh, that gives you some info to make sure you know how you position it correctly. Thanks for tuning in Tech Tip Tuesday. If you have ideas for other tech tips, share them below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. This one's inspired by our own uh, weekend work, uh, but we also like to know what you guys would like to hear as well.